Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a mid uh, afternoon market update on the European indices on the uh, Thursday, the 14th of April 2016. Okay, let's try and decipher exactly what's happening with regards to this market. Before I do, uh, please do visit tradesignaler.com and download the latest app at Google Play and Android, and uh, you can certainly gain access to my analysis along with others and this uh, new app that we've uh, certainly launched. Okay, now in terms of uh, European markets, the market certainly still um, defying gravity, still moving higher, okay, uh, certainly catching me off guard. I, after being up plus 200 points on a Tuesday, it's now Thursday and I'm down almost 140 points for the week, so certainly negative for me uh, and very hard to read at present because this market constantly wants to uh, uh, move and make a uh, run higher and is on a tear at present. So certainly needs to be respected to a large extent. Having said that, we've had uh, a number of arguments to the downside and I'll try and go through them one by one. Uh, and I still remain in the bearish cramp at this juncture. Okay, Asian markets overnight, the Nikkei up by a whopping 3%, but a lot of that was already factored in given the US market. Uh, rally the night before, Hang Seng up 0.8%, the Shanghai up 0.5% along with the um, Australian index up by 1% as well. Uh, US markets certainly finished more or less, uh, yes, they finished positive, but not as strong as everybody expected. Certainly uh, started to move southwards towards the close, uh, and uh, certainly overnight as well to a large extent. Uh, European indices this morning certainly up. Uh, the FTSE could more or less flat at present. The DAX is uh, up, or shall we say flat. Uh, the CAC is certainly flat, but certainly uh, flat lining at present and certainly not continuing the... Uh, the actual rally now in terms of uh, the markets uh, moving lower you've had the IEA the IEA uh, talking about the potential oil glut but certainly uh, d discounting any uh, potential bullish argument from uh, the uh, the actual uh, output freeze okay saying that that will dissipate very quickly okay uh, the Shanghai flat obviously negative Chinese growth is slow with regards to news there German growth uh, forecast or growth forecast certainly lowered as well so certainly more bearish arguments there Unilever sales hit BOE is certainly remains hawkish and uh, highlighted brexit concerns uh, BlackRock shares down or BlackRock forecast down I think their profits would uh, plunge by 20% uh, the Bank of America profits down Burberry is certainly trading update negative and the latest casualty is Taiwan semiconductors certainly forecasting weaker smartphone sales uh, and obviously their results have been hit subsequently, which in turn causes weakness in the NASDAQ. NASDAQ causes weakness in the rest of the markets, okay? That's my interpretation thus far. In terms of economic data from the uh, Eurozone, the inflation number slightly better than expected. Your CPI came in slightly better, so therefore that negates the argument for additional QE, and therefore that's negative, okay? And that should certainly put a, uh, a damper on the uh, Euro EU equity market rally. So in theory, that, that should be the case. Uh, the BOE certainly um, uh, more or less uh, a damp squid, okay, um, in line with expectations, etc. But they did uh, highlight Brexit concerns, which obviously is a negative factor, okay. Now let's look at the market from a technical perspective now. Uh, excuse me, okay, uh, let's just see exactly where we stand. Okay, let's bring up the chart, the Euro stocks. Euro stocks at the moment in the 60 minute chart, you can see that we are into gap fill resistance. We've put in a potential topping tail for the day. And you are coming or uh, seeing resistance here. If that fails to hold at uh, this resistance level, fails to hold at 3040 zone, then you have 3060 and then you have 3075 and 3085 uh, respectively. Okay, you do have an unfilled gap left behind, so bear that in mind. The daily chart, the euro stocks, you really are coming into resistance now, folks. This area here is quite important. Uh, certainly, key levels of resistance you are approaching. Uh, you do have horizontal resistance here as well. So certainly a respect, a respectful resistance zone. Okay, uh, ten minute chart. If we zoom into the micro, let's see exactly where we stand. We did have a HNS formation that obviously, as you can see, certainly failed to transpire at present, given the fact that the euro is still languishing at 1.125. This certainly seems to be more of a euro related move, but it certainly is uh, confusing as to the euro related move, given the uh, the actual uh, monetary policy divergence, given the given the fact that the um, the uh, euro Euro trade really is uh, on the downside. Is certainly capped on the back of uh, Mr. Draghi's statement of uh, no further uh, interest rate cuts. So certainly um, confusing at present, but that's the market, folks, and the market wants to move higher on cheap money, whether it be the QE trade, etc., etc. Okay, but for now you do have a potential double top of that three zero fifty zone. 
Okay, now in terms of the German DAX, again, this is uh, another trade that certainly is into gap fill resistance and horizontal resistance as well, as you can see here. Key horizontal resistance, the German DAX, that 10,090 zone. 60 minute chart, the German DAX, you can see that we've closed a gap here at uh, 10,050 and you have resistance above at 10,090. Very unlikely for us to break through there. The 10 minute chart, let's just zoom into here. You have an unfilled gap left behind that certainly needs to close. Uh, you haven't taken out the day's high yet, so that certainly is a bullish sign for the, uh, or should we say it's a, a bullish sign for those that are short. <laughs> okay, so uh, so in, in terms of their portfolios. So um, at present, you are looking at potential weakness for the German DAX, and I am expecting it as well. Uh, you certainly seem to be consolidating at the moment on the German DAX. You do have, uh, obviously, if we flush, you have support at the 10,000 zone. If we flush further, then you have support at the 9,950. And then you have support at the 9890 zone and obviously the unfilled gap below make make sure that this market is certainly vulnerable to a, a retracement okay and that's what i'm expecting really uh 60 minute chart certainly is showing you immense resistance in this zone so looking for weakness on the euro on the german dax given the fact that the euro usd if i bring up the chart the euro usd you have an inverted head and shoulders formation on the euro usd folks so certainly keep an eye on there uh, 60 minute chart of the euro usd you certainly have a bottoming tail uh, there is some potential support down at 1.12820 uh, now uh, the hns formation has complete uh, has, has completed at 1.1285 so certainly the flush is over and like i said i'm looking for a potential pot now we have had stronger inflation data today out of the uh, so eu cpi and that should support the equity markets obviously uh, which was so we said the euro moving higher and the equity markets moving lower if i bring up the chart the bond the bond should be interesting here Quickly bring up the chart, the bond itself, and you can see the bond has flushed and certainly is putting in a potential top. I mean, the daily chart will certainly confirm that as well. As you can see, we had a fake out and the market certainly has retraced back very quickly. Four hour chart at the moment certainly is signaling a potential HS formation. So, certainly watch out below in terms of the bond itself. So, you had the left shoulder here. Obviously, you've had the head uh, confirmed, looking for a right shoulder, then looking to move lower. And as we all know, when the bond moves lower, then uh, that causes the uh, the euro to start moving higher. So certainly watch out for that, folks. Okay, very, very important to observe there. Certainly looking at weakness with regards to the, uh, the bond at present. Okay, so moving over now to the French CAC. Let's just bring up the, chat, the French CAC. Whilst we're here, the French CAC, you can see the daily chart certainly is into resistance. The 60 minute chart at the moment. So, even though we have pushed above a resistance zone, okay, there is horizontal resistance in this region here where we are at present. Then you have resistance at 4530 and the next resistance at 4580. So, it ha certainly has been a very impressive thrust higher. The 10 minute chart at the moment, from my perspective, certainly looks exhausted. Okay, uh, just give me one second. Okay, so the CAC certainly looking for unfilled gap below, so you're looking to potentially close. In terms of the FTSE 100, let's bring up the index itself. The FTSE 100 at the moment on the uh, daily chart at present is currently facing some turbulence at this uh, 6850 zone. Okay, that zone is expected to hold. I'm potentially looking to retest the breakout zone at 6200 and 6315. So those are the two zones that we're potentially looking at. The 60 minute chart on the FTSE 100, we did have the bearish uh, candle uh, at the uh, Eight o'clock this morning. I was expecting consolidation. I am actually short the FTSE with a six three seven two stop loss, and I was looking for a potential bear flag scenario here, looking for a slight pullback on the back of the IA news with regards to the uh, oil output freeze not actually having the uh, bullish impact that it should. Okay, so that certainly seems to have been quashed and negated, and the market certainly have continued to to rally. So uh, my stop loss is at six three seven two. I did actually have a H and S formation in the ten minute chart as well. That certainly seems to be negated as well. We've taken out the pivot high, which is uh, pretty impressive, and the market continues to move higher. Even with the uh, weaker earnings from banks, uh, obviously we've had BlackRock and Bank of America, Bank of America miss as well, uh, Unilever miss as well. So mother, I think mother care was down 15% today as well. This market certainly seems to be uh, uh, in a, um, a vertical liftoff mode. The FTSE 250, you can see here lower high as well. The weekly chart on the FTSE 250, as you can see, we are into resistance, looking for a retracement. If I bring up the uh, the actual uh, banking stocks, uh, the individual sector stocks, so if I bring up mining, for example, if I go to a daily chart, you can see the mining is at double top resistance as well, and therefore that's why I'm bearish. If I bring up the uh, 
oil and gas sector, if I bring up the oil and gas sector here as well, if I go to a daily chart on the oil and gas, and you, you can see that we are coming into resistance. I mean, we have that topping tail there. You have obviously a horizontal resistance here as well. So certainly looking for resistance, certainly looking for a potential reversal and a turnaround here. If I bring up the banking stocks, if I look at the daily chart, you can certainly see we're, we're cautious now, especially with bank earnings not coming in as, as strong as everybody expected and looking for a potential reversal, okay? Uh, the other factor as well here, if I bring up the European sectors, okay, so if I bring up the stock 600, for example, you can see that we're into horizontal resistance and looking for a retracement. If I bring up the uh, individual sectors as well, if I bring up the Deutsche banking sector, you can see that we've certainly put in a bottom topping tail and reversed. If I bring up the Euro stock 600 banks, you can clearly see there's a H&S formation on a 10 minute chart. 60 minute chart certainly seems to have uh, have, have uh, moved uh, and uh, put in a potential topping tail here. As you can see here, previous support equals resistance. We've broken out that bearish chart uh, a lot, quite some time, a while back. Okay, and you are now facing turbulence in this zone. Okay, so watch out for this key zone here. Okay, so you've put in a uh, topping tail here. Okay, and then obviously we're looking for a weakness and the unfilled gap that certainly remains open below. The uh, daily chart itself, you are now into previous support equals resistance uh, on the uh, banking sector here. So certainly uh, uh, overdone its um, its uh, its rally itself and looking for a pause and, and a potential reversal. Okay, now uh, let's have a look at the other sectors as well uh, in terms of Europe. Okay, oil and gas sector. This is going to be interesting. Okay, so the daily chart, uh, and you can see again 200 MA, you're into gap fill resistance as well. And that's one of the reasons why I'm actually bearish on the European indices. But this market, like I said, it certainly is in one hell of a risk on mode and it certainly wants to push higher regardless. So certainly resistance all around. OK, uh, in terms of the other sectors, let's just bring up the other. OK, uh, looking at the uh, retail sector as well, daily chart certainly remains weak. So certainly weak from our, almost every angle from my perspective and looking for further downside. OK, folks. That's a wrap. Be sure to visit the uh, tradesignaler.com uh, website and certainly download the, the latest app and uh, gain access to my analysis. Alternatively, you can visit cfds.com and certainly uh, qualify for that uh, new account opening bonus, which is 25%. Terms and conditions apply. Goodbye.